AAR, one of the world's largest aircraft maintenance companies, announced plans to build a set of aircraft repair hangars in Rockford, Illinois. They were to be constructed with a fabric roof placed over a steel frame, a rarity for hangars of this size. Tyco Fire Protection Products was consulted on this project, not only for its extensive expertise in protecting aircraft hangars and plans for implementation, but also for its perspective on the system's customization for this hangar's unique design. Ansel brand products were specified in the original designs, and after extensive deliberation and collaboration with local authorities, Ansel Jet X27 high expansion foam generators were selected as the best solution. These generators have the highest output and lowest flow rate in the industry, allowing for a lower total flow rate of the system, smaller foam concentrate tanks, and fewer generators. The centerpiece of this system is Ansel Jet X 2% high expansion foam concentrate. This foam concentrate is a UL listed fluorine free formula option designed for the types of hazards present in aircraft hangars, warehouse storage, and liquefied natural gas facilities. Indoor or outdoor, this foam concentrate provides a protection option that limits containment or runoff. Coupled with the high expansion generators, this foam is capable of completely covering the hangar floor at an application rate of three cubic feet per minute per square foot, meeting the requirements of NFPA 409. With the ability to fill nearly the entire hangar in less than 12 minutes. The rapid discharge rate of the system can quickly overwhelm a fire, helping to minimize damage and isolate the fuel source to prevent reignition. The construction of these hangars custom fire suppression system is an example of the innovation Tyco Fire Protection Products brings to the fire protection industry. Our vast experience in hangar protection and our deep knowledge of NFPA codes and standards enables us to develop tailored solutions helping to protect both equipment and personnel against the most extreme of hazards, a challenge we've met for over 100 years.